Today I am going to make some sushi and before anybody gets uh, a little irritated I'm going to call it sushi cook and gobble style. I'm going to make a couple of minor changes. It'll be it'll be pretty close to uh, uh, Japanese sushi but I'm going to make a couple of little differences, a couple of changes, no, no big deal, nothing major. But I just wanted to clarify because I know some people get a little irritated uh, if it's not authentic or whatever the case may be. Anyhow, anyhow, this is, as you can see, this is roasted seaweed. This is the, the wrapping. It's uh, called nori, N-O-R-I, nori. It's used to wrap the sushi. And it's just uh, sheets of roasted seaweed. And as you can tell, this side is a little bit shiny. And it's, it's relatively smooth compared to this side, which is kind of dull, and it's really, really rough. Uh, this rough side is where you put the rice on. It'll help uh, the rice to stick to it better, this, this rough texture. So, if you make your own, which I hope you do, keep a lookout for that, and use the rough side to uh, put the rice on, and the shiny, smoother side will be the uh, side that you will see when it's finished. Uh, these are really, really cheap. This is uh, maybe a couple of dollars or so for, for a pack of uh, 10 sheets or so. It's, it's pretty cheap. It's pretty this cheap. is some rice I just cooked. Uh, this is uh, about two cups of rice. Um, just cook it already according to regular package directions. I, I used jasmine rice because I couldn't find any sushi rice at the store. Uh, Sushi rice is much better. It, it's stickier. Uh, they, it's there. There's a reason why you should use sushi rice because it, it really works, so much better. You may not think it until you try it. But anyways, I think I can make this work. To, uh, to do this, uh, it'll. I think it'll be okay. Anyways, this is a mixture of some uh, Japanese rice vinegar and some Japanese uh, mirin which is a it's a sweet uh, cooking wine and it's about five parts of uh, vinegar to one part of the uh, sweet wine uh, so this is about an eighth of a cup of vinegar roughly and maybe about a teaspoon of, uh, of the uh, sweet cooking wine and I'm just going to try to this this rice is almost room temperature, just slightly, slightly more. So I'm going to add this uh, mixture to it and try to get it evenly coated and distributed throughout the rice to make it uh, for sushi. So. just carefully mix it together. Go ahead and start with the uh, the nori with the rough side up and moisten your fingers with a little bit of water on them. That way the rice won't stick to them too badly. Get it as close to the edge as you can in the back here. Leave a, leave a space up here well, at least a half an inch. Uh, this is almost an inch there uh, of empty space. That way it'll make it easier to seal it up after a bit. I'm going to use some uh, smoked salmon on this. I'm going to add a little cream cheese here. Then I'm going to add a little bit of onion, a little bit of uh, cucumber, and uh, I'm going to save this bamboo for later. That's all there is to it. Now comes the hard part though, trying to roll it up. Just lift up the entire mat and uh, get a little, little water in your finger. Just 
put it on that last empty space here to try and keep it so it will seal up. And tuck it under, under. Keep rolling. And see, that's great. Give it a little gentle <coughs> from the packing there. And then that's all there is to it, just, just like that. When you go to slice it, be sure you have a very sharp knife. And get just a little water on it, on the uh, blade, so that it doesn't uh, get stuck on the rice and rip it apart. Doesn't take a lot of water, just a little. Just a little bit. And then try to cut it in half. And you'll probably want to put a little more water on the blade again. And for each slice, and I don't, I don't make sushi often enough to be an expert at it, but as you can tell, but what you can do when you get these end pieces that uh, are a little funny looking, just turn that side down when you serve it, or you can put it on the underside if you want to display it that way a little bit. But let me do a couple more or at least one more anyway. As you can probably see, I'm having a little trouble with the rice because it's not exactly the right kind. But it's, it's working. <laughs> On this one, I'm gonna add a little uh, sriracha type hot sauce. You can use as much or as little as you like. I'm going to use a slice of ham. No, I'm not. I'm going to use turkey. <laughs> Some turkey there. And I'm just going to add a few julienne carrots. Just a little bit of some cucumber. And then just roll it up just like the last one. Tuck everything in as much as you can. Roll it over. Keep going with it. And it, it does make a difference if you use the right uh, sushi rice. Uh, this, you need to wrap them as snugly as possible and the stickiness of the rice will help uh, somewhat to hold it all together while you're wrapping it. Now this isn't bad, it, it worked out okay. It's gonna be it's gonna be usable. Again, a little bit of water on your knife blade. Then slice it as close as you can get it to in half. And you can see the, the turkey in there, and uh, you can see the hot sauce, the radishes, I mean the uh, carrots, cucumber, and a bamboo. You can use anything you like. Uh, I didn't use fish because uh, it's really hard to find any place that will sell you sushi grade fish. They don't really like to take the risk I'm guessing <laughs> they won't tell you that but that's probably what it is anyways 
You can use anything you like. Uh, this is uh, sushi cook and gobble style. Make it, make it your style. If you want, you can put a little sesame seeds on it, or for sauce. I'm going to use a little soy sauce. I'm going to use a little Mexican hot sauce. And some blue cheese dressing. This is the, uh, the smoked salmon with the cream cheese and the green onions, cucumber. Um, this is it again. This row, two rows over here, is the turkey with the uh, carrots, cucumber, and bamboo. Uh, give it a try. It's pretty easy. It takes a little time till you get to know what you're doing better, but it's a lot of fun. Tastes really good. We'll see you next time on Cook and Gobble videos.